Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you these HPM uh, plug-in circuit breakers. Okay, so these are an, are, a, are, an elect are an item which HPM make. Okay, now HPM is, is an Australian um, electrical uh, manufacturer which is owned by Legrand. Okay, so um, so that's, and this is a couple, some of their circuit breakers. I've shown you some HPM products in the past. I've shown you their plug tops, their ceiling fans and their exhaust fans. And um, I thought I'd show you their um, circuit breaker range, okay? So these are um, a plug-in circuit breaker. So these basically plug in. So these would replace the old plug-in fuses that were pro that from back in the, you know, from probably back in the 50s or the 40s, okay? Because before um, we went to, you know, breakers that you could just flick up and down, we actually, houses used to take like fuse that you had to replace, okay? It was a plug-in fuse which took the same base like this, okay? So that was the way <clears throat> most switch forwards were back in the day, okay? But since those type of fuses are obsolete now, back in um, in the 2020s, these are the type of breakers that we'd use in them, okay? Now you'll still, in a lot of older houses, you'll actually find switch forwards that actually would have, um, have these breakers in them, or they might even still have those fuses that have not burned out. Now if you have a fuse like that that does burn out, to get a new one now is pretty much near impossible because they don't make them anymore. So there is a solution to that, okay? So rather than having to, you know, call out an electrician to replace your whole switchboard, you can actually just replace the, the fuse with one of these, okay? Now I've got four here, they're all the same. The difference is just the amperage and the color of the actual switch mechanism, okay? So I'll um, take you through. I'll just lift stand these up for you so you can see them. Okay, so there they are, okay? We have, this one is brown, this one is blue, this one's yellow, and this one is red. Okay, the difference between them is um, is the amperage of them, okay? So the brown one here, I'll just stand them up like this. Okay, the brown one is an 8 amp, the blue one is 16 amp, The twin, this one here is 20 amp, which is the yellow one, the red one is a 32 amp, okay? So, <clears throat> so depending on what the breaker is controlling depends on what you need um, need the right amperage. Now, on HPM's website, it will tell you what each breaker is for. Okay, and when you buy the breaker on the packaging, it will have um, it will have a, a little list of what the different colors are. Okay, so so the brown one here is an eight amp. This would be used for um, for a lighting circuit. Okay, so this will be used to control your lights, okay, such as your um, your standard household lights or even your emergency lighting or perhaps even the ceiling exhaust fans that you might have in your um, in your kitchen or your bathroom or perhaps even a standard ceiling fan, okay? That's what you'd use the, the brown one for, okay? Okay, moving on, the blue one here is a 16 amp. This would be used for your... Um, for your um, power points, okay, your, your your power outlets or your GPOs, okay, general power outlets, okay. So this will be used for them, okay. So you know your normal plug-in outlets. This would be the one you'd use for them, okay. On my particular house, we have we actually have two, one of these and two of these, okay. So we have two breakers for the power because when we have the house is split into two sides for the power, so we have one that controls the breaker on one side of the house and one that controls it on the other side. All the lights in the house are on the one breaker, so. Okay, and of course you will have your main breaker as well. Okay, the main breaker that controls everything. Okay, so that's what that one is. Moving on, we have the 20 amp one. That would be more for a hot water system. Okay, you can use it on a for a 20 amp appliance as well. Okay, but generally it's for a um, a hot water system. Okay, so if you have an electric hot water system, you'll have you'll most likely see this yellow breaker in your switchboard. Okay, now my house, on my particular house, our hot water system is gas, so we don't have a breaker for it. Okay, so that's um, <clears throat> so that's a little different. And now we have the red one, which is a 32 amp. Okay, this would be for um, on this would be for an electric stove or an oven. Okay, now on my particular house, my oven circuit is actually one of the new ones. Is actually one of the newer ones, ones that you don't plug in. One you actually got a hard wire. Okay, because that that appliance was installed was installed when the when before uh, when the plug-in fuses were um became obs were discontinued. So that was actually um done by um a newer a newer system. Okay, I might actually do do a video on my switchboard. Okay, and um and show you that and tell, explain about it. Okay. Okay, so that's what this one would be for. 
Okay, so these are, um, what's good about these is that these are actually resettable. Okay, so with the old plug-in fuses, once they popped, you actually had to replace them. You couldn't reset them. As with these ones, you can reset them. Okay, so they, they trip, they function just like a normal circuit breaker. So if the circuit overloads, it's designed to trip the breaker, okay, and kill the power. It, you might also have an RCD breaker as well, that may trip as well. Okay, so let me uh, show you. So, so when this is down, like that, this is the top and this is the bottom. So when this is down, that will be off. So when it's up, it's on, okay. So, so that's on and that's off. Okay, it's a little bit of it has a bit of a spring action to lift it up. Okay, but when it when you flick it down, it just drops down. It's like no resistance going turning it off, but there is a bit of resistance turning it on because you do. So if this trips, you actually just need to go out and just reset it, just lift it up like that. You don't have to pull it out and replace it. Okay, that's the benefit of it. Okay, so the part number for this one is CAT um, CB one hundred eight. Okay, the part number for this one is the same, but it's um one. 116 okay this one once again this is um this one here is uh 120 and then of course we have the the 132 okay so they're the part numbers for these okay and they they're all, and these are like i said they're made by hpm which is a very good brand so all of these are australian made and designed okay and um, they are also used in new zealand as well new zealand does use these as, as well okay but generally speaking, in, in a lot of newer houses, you most likely you won't find these. Okay, you'll only find these on older houses, houses from probably that were built probably before the um, before the eighties or perhaps even before the nineties. Okay, <clears throat> okay, because the um, hard wire breakers they've been out they've been out for quite a while. Okay, they came out pretty early on, um, but I'm not too sure when they have actually came out. But I do know that on my particular house we got a bit of both. We got we got a couple of these. Um, three of these for our um, lights and our power, and we've got the hardwired ones for our oven and our solar system and our RCD. Okay, so but the but otherwise they um, all these do function the same way. Okay, um, you can you can find these at Bunnings or your local electrical wholesaler. Now my local electrical wholesaler AW apparently doesn't stock these, so they would be a bought to order item for them. Okay. But, um, but I'm pretty certain that all electrical wholesalers should stock these and most electricians should really have a couple of these in their vans because they come across an old house, a house that was built probably before the 80s, so they'll probably need one of those to replace it, okay? Because replacing this would be cheaper than replacing the whole switchboard, okay? Because a, whole, a new switchboard wouldn't be cheap, so you're better off just um, replacing your blown fuse with one of these, okay? They're very easy to install. So what you do is you, um, you just simply make sure it's off or turn off the main breaker you simply just pull it out and then you just plug it back in like a normal appliance, okay? like a normal wall plug, okay? And a little tip, make, do not, make sure you install these the right way up. Don't You don't want to put it in upside down. You want to put it on the right way up, okay? So this will be the top and that's the bottom, okay? So you see the little logo, the HPM logo there. You want that at the bottom, okay? The C8, you need that at the top, okay? Because, um, but I'm pretty sure people would not be installing these upside down, okay? Because um, if you install them upside down, it's not a very, very wise thing to do, okay? <clears throat> so that is basically um, all there is to these breakers. As you can see, they're, all four of them are the same shape. Okay, they're all the same shape, the same look, the same look, okay? The difference is just the color of the switch and the amperage, okay? But otherwise, they function the same way. Now, these are actually held together by these brass rivets here, and they've got stainless steel um, contacts or nickel plated contacts so they are pretty good so I'm pretty sure these will be quite corrosion corrosion proof okay now so taking these apart non-destructively is technically not on the table because to take them apart you actually need to drill these rivets out and if you want to put it back together you would have to put new rivets in okay it would be nice if these were actually screwed together but apparently they're riveted so okay that's just the only con with them but otherwise they are do they are good they these will give you years of trouble free service okay and they do and they are much better than those old plug-in fuses that you had to replace back in the old back in the day okay so now these are the latest design there is some that are the older design which is um a little bit different okay but these ones here are the latest current design okay so so these are your stand these are actually one phase breakers they're not two phase or three phase they're for one phase only Okay, <clears throat> okay, and they're um, and the amperages vary. Okay, 
Um, there's no 25 amp one, but um, but I'm pretty sure you can use the 32 for a 25 amp um, appliance anyway, because you can use a, a 25 on a higher amperage breaker. It's, it won't hurt it. I, I, I could use this for a lighting breaker if I wanted to. It's just that it's just that it's, it's because it's um higher, a stronger break. It will handle it will handle it. Okay. It's just that you you don't want to be using an, an oven on this breaker, okay? Because it's um, because it's uh, because this breaker you would very likely over burn it out because it's the oven's just way too powerful, okay? In my particular house, my oven is actually um a fifteen amp because it's got the larger earth pin, okay? I've never seen I don't, I've not really seen if I've if I've ever seen a twenty amp oven or a thirty two amp. If, if anyone out there has, please leave a comment, okay? And tell me if you've seen a thirty two amp or a 20 amp oven okay but generally speaking an oven will be 15 amp in your standard household okay and of course you have a hot water system which would be a 20 amp if it's electric so you'd use this one and a stove or an oven you'd most likely use that for power points you'd use this for lights you'd use that okay so that is the hpm um, circuit breaker range okay so we, in one phase so i hope you enjoyed and that'll be it